Hello my dear students. The other day you had read about the dyes and dyeing. You have some idea about the fibers, the dyes. Now today we are going to read about block printing. Whether that block printing you have done with a potato or with matchstick or with cookie cutters. It's all the same. Block printing is block printing. Although the conventional block printing or basically the block printing is of being done by the wood pieces. The objective of today's lesson would be the history of block printing, the technique of block printing and the resources for making the blocks. Introduction the art of hand block printing to produce attractive fabric of rich color and pattern is very ancient in India. India has been renowned for its printed and dyed cotton cloth since 12th century. Different styles of designs have been made with this technique in different parts of the country. Block printing is the oldest method to apply colors to the fabric. It is very similar to the use of rubber stamp or an ink pad. The process is considered to be the most artistic, oldest, simplest, but the slowest of all the methods and techniques of printing. Historical background Block printing is believed to have originated in China towards early 3rd century. Records of its presence in Egypt and some Asian countries were also found around the 4th century. A fragment of block printed fabric found at Al Fastat in Egypt on the banks of River Nile tells us from the design that it is believed to be printed in Gujarat and from there it spread to Europe and other places around the world. Apart from wood, blocks were also made of linoleum and metal and of course vegetables, cocks, caps etc. But Wooden blocks remain the most sought after apart from linoleum which have gained popularity in recent times. Features of block printing In hand block printing, the design is first drawn on wood using a sharp needle and then the desired design is carved using the chisel, the hammer and the nails help to attach the design to the block where it is drawn and then carved. The printing involves laying the cloth fabric which is to be printed on a flat table. कंबल और लगाइए कोई भी लेयर आप लोग डाले तो इसके अंदर शिकन बिल्कुल नहीं होनी चाहिए जिसको क्रीजेस बोलते हैं वो 
क्रीजेस बिल्कुल नहीं आनी चाहिए क्योंकि यदि अगर कोई भी शिकन या क्रीज आएगी तो बहुत जब आप लोग प्रिंटिंग करेंगे तो बहुत मुश्किल हो जाएगा कि वो जो सरफेस है वो बिल्कुल परफेक्ट रहे तो आप इसके अंदर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लेयर्स डाल के दस लेयर्स इन कमलों की आप डाल लेंगे उसके बाद आप चादरें डालेंगे मार्किंग की आप चादर ले सकते हैं और वो चादर आप डालिए पर अगेन यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल कि इसके अंदर शिकन बिल्कुल नहीं आए क्रीज जिसको बोलते हैं वो बिल्कुल ना आए ये अब आप आपने बेटे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सीधा उल्टा सब ठीक है बट शिकन का आपको बस ध्यान रखना है कि शिकन बिल्कुल नहीं आनी चाहिए Using a beautifully carved blocks, the block is dipped in the coloured dye, and impressions are made. Traditionally, natural and vegetable sources were used for dyes, but with the introduction and discovery of artificial dyes, which are extremely cheap, though they are hazardous to life, or I should say, to health. They have replaced the vegetable dyes. The distinctive artistic features of block printing are the simplicity of line and the abstraction of patches of color. Rich and colorful prints can be created through block printing. The colors usually used for block printing are saffron blue yellow and red the wooden blocks are used for commercial printing but for household or little projects the other type of blocks are used these have different shapes and have different designs carved at the bottom of the blocks the logs of the blocks which are carved are generally or rather they are always cut horizontally from the tree as it is easy to carve out these blocks various products like sarees kurtis salwar kameez dupatta skirts etc are made from block printing self check questions this is your first question of the day today what are the artistic features of block printing do you think you people can discuss amongst yourselves and come out with some lovely answers for it If you have done so let us continue resources of block printing or rather i should say resources of blocks block printing is the process of using an object to make an inked impression upon the plain surface it is one of the oldest and most enjoyable of all the crafts and has given color and pattern to paper cloth and many more surfaces many adventurous techniques of block printing which can be practiced producing extremely interesting products are the use of matchsticks vegetables or the cookie cutters or jar lids or corks buttons found for printing cross section of vegetables like onion ladies fingers capsicum bitter gourd or even printing with leaves produce beautiful designs and textures 
printing can make various textures and shapes from a string, piece of cardboard or wire screens or fabrics or even the tube wax which is used for sticking of the cycle tires produce extremely beautiful and lovely designs. Activity Collect some medium which can be used as block printing and then I would like you people to make some beautiful cards using those various mediums you have collected. Summing up Block printing is an ancient art which adapted as textile ornamenting technique very early in the history. There are several types of blocks such as wooden, matchstick, vegetables, nylonium or metal blocks. In fact you can just carve using these surfaces to make the beautiful blocks and the design and the patterns which are created on the cloth. This is the possible answer to the self question, self check question. The distinctive artistic features of block printing are the simplicity of line and the abstraction of patches of color which produces or gives us extremely beautiful printouts. Thank you.